From the Gospel according to Luke Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. The word of Jesus is not abstract. It is a teaching that touches and shapes our life, changes it, frees it from the opaqueness of evil, satisfies and infuses it with a joy that does not pass. Jesus' word is a good portion, that which Mary had chosen. Therefore, she gives it first place. She stops and listens. The rest will come after. This does not detract from the value of practical effort, but it must not proceed, but rather flow from listening to the word of Jesus. It must be enlivened by His Spirit. Otherwise, it is reduced to fussing and fretting over many things. It is reduced to sterile activism. Let us allow ourselves to be challenged by those pages, asking ourselves how our life, my life, is going, if it is in line with what Jesus says, or not so much. In particular, let us ask ourselves, when I start my day, do I throw myself headlong into the things to be done, or do I first seek inspiration in the Word of God? At times, we begin the day automatically. We start doing things, like hens. No, we must start the day by first of all looking to the Lord taking his word briefly, but allowing this to be the inspiration for the day. If we leave the house in the morning keeping a word of Jesus in mind, the day will surely acquire a tone marked by that word, which has the power to orient our actions according to the Lord's wishes.